All right, you've come here because Premiere Pro won't play. I'm gonna show you one thing to look at that might solve your problem. All right, let's go look at the setting and then I'll talk about it. In the edit menu in on Windows, the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, preferences, audio hardware. Default output, change this from whatever it is to something else. Now, right now, I've got my uh, Oculus installed, uh, although the hardware isn't connected. And I also have my standard uh, speakers in my laptop. And one of the reasons that this happens to me is I also, when I take this laptop over to my desk, I plug it into um, a Thunderbolt USB-C dock, and that carries all of my audio. Premiere Pro won't let that go. When I physically unplug that and, and then come over here to shoot my show, Premiere Pro thinks I'm still connected over there to that USB dock. And when I go in here the very first time, the USB dock is selected. You can see it's not there now because I guess it's smart enough to know after a while it's not there. But I make sure that I check this um, and choose something else. This doesn't always cause a problem, but I have noticed uh, that it does stop playback. I also have another system connected to a, a Steinberg USB interface. And sometimes I forget to turn that on before I launch Premiere Pro, and the same thing can occur there, where the playback absolutely stops. The timeline will not move at all until I go in here and change it from whatever it is to something else. Even if it's already the, at the right thing, change it to something else, click OK, go back to that same setting, change it back to what you want, click OK, and now I can play in my timeline. It, it just might be one of those goofy things that you came here to fix, and that's the one thing to fix. And the thing is, you got to look to that setting every time, because I've never had Premiere Pro not play. It usually plays well, or it might stutter if I've got too many things on the timeline, or I'm asking my my computer to do too many things at once. Um, but if it's stopped dead, boom, I go right to the audio settings. That could be the thing that saves your butt. Now, I do have a whole tutorial, and I'll link to this uh, in the uh, at the end to it, about stuttering playback. That's a whole different issue. That usually has to do with um, the minimum resources on the system that you're playing back. More powerful systems don't have the problem. You can only do so much with a minimum system. All right, hopefully this fixes your problem. If not, let me know and I'll try to figure it out. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more? You can do that through our website, videorevealed.com. There's a place to donate once or monthly, any amount you want. We give you lots of free stuff there and a few other things that you can buy. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and I'm the guy who's remembering the things that trouble me so I can alert you so you don't have the same trouble.